Okay, everybody, I thought I would do a bit of an interesting one that you probably don't see very often, and it's just solely for developing in any programming language, and in this case, Verse. So if you're new to Verse and you've kind of been mulling around with how to do things and you're not really into programming previously, this will be interesting. Uh, if not, it might just be a reminder that you should refactor your code where you can. Now, I've got some very inefficient code here. I've got the exact same code running over and over and over inside of different functions. And this is a bad idea. What we want to do is place all this repetitive code in one code block or function so that we call it when a thing happens. Because as I'm doing right now, I need to change up the requirements of when the game should end. And one of the things I want to do is I want to figure out if I've got all three coins that are in my game. All three coins are uh, in hand, then we can say that we won, along with making sure to eliminate all the guards and all that kind of stuff, which is down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to refactor this code to make it more efficient and uh, essentially better. Because in the future, I might do something more. I might have some other requirement that must happen uh, for the game to uh, end or not end. Uh, in success or failure, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to do check for game over. And what we're end up, what we're what we need to do here. Uh, I'm just going to put in the basic code here. I'm not returning anything, but I do want to bring in an agent object. So an agent an agent object is generally going to be you, the character or any character that is in the game. So we're going to accept an agent object as this first parameter inside of the function because we use it everywhere. So we're going to take this code here and check to see if everybody's been eliminated, copy it and bring it down into here. Then we can do our thing. Uh, and, it, and that is essentially in the game <laughs> like that. And we can go we won. We're going to put in our print for our debugging and change that to agent instead of valid agent. Now we're not calling this yet, but now we've essentially done everything that's happening in these four functions. Now we just need to change the internals of these four functions so that they will call check for game over. So we'll copy this check for game over. And I'm just going to replace this. Take this or sort of take this out this out, remove like that. And we can bring this back. Now, what we're changing this to is important. We just we're not going to do the check to see if we want anything within on boss eliminator or in the sniper eliminator and the big boss eliminated. We're just going to make sure that we actually have an agent device from the or an agent object from the device AI interaction result. Because this could this check for game over can happen from all over the place. We just have to make sure to pass in a valid agent. Um, and in this case, it's just checking to see if the source from the I'll cover this in, in a future uh, tutorial about what we're doing here, but we're essentially passing in or should be passing in. If this succeeds, we'll be passing in an actual agent of the game. And so we can actually just copy this and get rid of all this like that. And look at how much cleaner that looks now that that looks that looks good now. The reason why we can't copy this part here, because we don't always know that we're going to be passing in a device AI interaction result object. We don't want to pass this in because it could be we we could be doing as we have up here on coin pickup. So when a coin gets picked up, I also want to check to see if we've got all of those. So that's why and this one gets an, an agent object. So we check here if it's a valid agent. So we don't want to pass in. Um, a questionable or optional agent object. We also don't want to pass in um, a device AI interaction result. We want to actually get the agent. So that that is kind of an important thing to do to make sure you refactor your code so that you're not wasting time going over your code, finding out whether or not you've done something repetitive. Everything is going to flow through this check for game over uh, function. And inside of here, we'll see how many coins we have. Do we have enough coins? So. I won't bother with that, but I want to discuss a little bit of refactoring because it's very important. Something simple, short, to the point. Uh, any questions or comments, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.